Golden Eagles of Southern Miss. They had to win their last regular season game to become bowl eligible. Then they took advantage of it as they beat Louisiana Lafayette in the New Orleans Bowl. And joining us right now, the head coach, Jay Hobson. Jay, good to see you yeah, again, my right. friend. Appreciate you having us. Also joining us today is Edo Smith, the running back, who keeps reminding me that I've said that he is my favorite player. <laughs> and defensive back, Cornell Armstrong. Uh, Jay, I want to take you back to last season. Um, you had to win the last – you had to become bowl right. eligible. And your team – came out, they performed. How proud were you of the squad? The football team in 2016 will always have a dear spot in my heart. Uh, the adversities the those guys battled through, we, we kind of started off hot and mm -hmm. the season started off really well. And we, we had some key losses and some tough injuries that uh, those guys just kept battling and we hit a tough spot and uh, never once did they quit, never once did they not go out Monday through Friday and dig and fight. I always talk about a Southern Miss style of football, mm -hmm. and that's what they did. And, uh, you know, I, think, I don't think anybody gave us a chance the last week, and our guys came out and played Southern Miss football and uh, finished strong. So as a football coach, you're extremely proud of that football team, and it, uh, that team uh, certainly will always have a special spot in my heart. Oh, one of the players that they have to replace and he was a good one that's Nick Mullins a quarterback the fact that you've got somebody now that you have to break in how important was spring practice just to get him comfortable you know I think I even think the injury to Nick and then Parker because Keon was a young man we tried to red right. shirt last year and eventually we had to pull the shirt off of him and I think getting the game experience because Keon really did have good numbers when he got in and produced and I think it was great to have uh, him come in uh, get games under his belt, play, and, and uh, we got Quadre Griggs back this spring too. So they began a battle for the starting quarterback position that is still ongoing. Uh, leaving spring, I, I don't know who the starter is. We're going to let them battle through August, and we'll find out who rises to the top. One thing that stood out when you break down a lot of the numbers, field position, at times it wasn't good last year. Mm -hmm. How do you remedy that? I think if you look at two things that we certainly – will emphasize and, and be better on this year is we've got to limit our turnovers and big plays because we actually finished in the top 25 in total offense and, and defense, I think, in America. Mm -hmm. So it's very seldom do you have both sides of the ball finish in the top 25 in the country. But uh, we had, we've, I think we led the country in turnovers, yep. and uh, that's something we've got to eliminate that, and we gave up too many big plays. So, uh, if you know, and when you talk about field position, you know, it's hard to – score if we give the offense the ball on the minus five and likewise right. the defense might give up a few more points if we've turned the ball over inside the 20. So uh, football's a field position game and uh, certainly those are two areas uh, that we're going to try to improve on. Obviously they lose a quarterback but almost everybody that touched the ball last year is returning this year. That has to give you some type of comfort. I think at running back, of course, I got Edo over to my left and at receiver. We're a faster football team this year than we were last year. You know, I can just see the speed on our football team. We're Last year I didn't know if we were that fast of a football team. We're fast this year. We really are. I think uh, Cornell's to my far left. But we've, got a, we've got DBs, receivers, and running backs that can really run. So, uh, you know, that's one thing to see the – to see the influx of guys that are in that 4-3 range running on our football team is encouraging, but we are young. It's a young year, but a lot of, a lot of young speed, so I'm really pleased uh, with what I'm seeing. I did a number of your games last year, and what stood out also was time of possession, which you dominated. But when I really looked at a little bit further on the numbers, you ran almost 300 more plays than your opponent. Ball control was big last season. Well, ball control and and turnovers. Mm -hmm. You know that that's something that kind of contributes to that number too. But I felt like we did control the ball well. But uh, again, I felt like, you know, I was really pleased with what we did offensively and defensively. Just have to correct a few things. Well, you held Louisiana Tech defensively to their worst output of the season uh, to get the win to get to a bowl. But you mentioned some of the numbers in your defense. Number one in Conference USA total defense, fourth in scoring last season. And you led Conference USA in passing and TDs allowed in 2016. Let's talk about your defense. Areas of improvement. It looks like the biggest question mark may be at linebacker and safety. We've got young guys there. Uh, again, I'll, I'll say that we're young, but the talent, I'm going to say this again, we're younger, but we're faster. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at some of the guys uh, inside, we can really run at linebacker, and our safeties have really good speed. So, again, we're, we're youthful, but there is some talent there. One of the, the lines I, I read that you said, the defense is mature as it can be this season, even after some lapses last year. 
because every projected starter is either a junior or a senior in 2017. Right. So you do have some maturity on the defense. We, we do. We have our corners out wide. I've got Cornell to my left. Cornell and Curtis and Trey. Uh, I tell you, I really out wide. We're really, really talented at corner. Uh, that's a position that I'm high on. Um, we do have a few new guys inside. We have two new linebackers. Last year we had CJ and Elijah starting. Last year we had Denarius and uh, Devontae starting at safety. So there will be some new faces on the defense. But, uh, again, out wide at corner, a lot of veteran speed and a veteran knowledge out there. So we're excited about it. Let's turn our attention to the players. First up, Edo Smith rushed for 1,459 yards last season. He's the only active player in the FBS with 3,000 yards rushing and 1,000 yards receiving, and he is my favorite player. <laughs> you know, let's talk about the fact, that, and you and I were, were talking about it earlier, losing Nick. But it's not like you have to learn cadence from a new quarterback because your center does a lot of that. Yeah, um, when Coach Dawson came in, he implemented that um, the, the center is going to be the person controlling the cadence, and that's, um, that's something new that, that we, we started last year, so... It's, it's, it's really, it, it doesn't really change anything with us. Back-to-back 1,000-yard -back rushing seasons. When will you take time to actually enjoy the fact that you are one of the most successful running backs in college football right now? Um, after, after I'm done. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's credit to the guys around me. My offensive line, they go out there. They do a great job blocking for me. And the quarterbacks, the wide receivers, the wide receivers block the quarterbacks. They, they get the pass game going, so that opens up the running lanes for me. So it's, it's great. It's, it's just all-around team effort. Going into that last regular season game where you needed a win in order to become bowl eligible, what was the spirit like that week coming up to that game, knowing that your back is against the wall? Let's do or die. We, we knew we had to go out there and get a W. Our season was over. We, we didn't want it to end. And after the Louisiana Tech game, so we knew we had to go out there and get a W. All the guys, um, we had a great week of, week of practice. Just put all the chips in, counted them up at the end. We came out with the W. Let's turn our attention now to a little defense. Defensive back, Cornell Armstrong. Those numbers are very impressive of what your defense did last year. But you look at some little hiccups, and you gave up a number of big plays last season. Is that something that is stuck in your craw this year? Uh, yeah, we just got to go out there, and we got to eliminate the big plays. Uh, Coach Hop coaches that a lot. Uh, after the season, we even watched – Watch film on the big plays that we gave up, and he told us if we eliminated them, there's no doubt that we could be number one in the country. We were just talking about, you know, a couple of plays here, a couple of plays there. You would have had three, probably three or four more wins. There's no, that's football. Yeah. yeah. And those are the things that we've got to work on and correct, and that's part of the journey in football, uh, I think. That, and, and, you know, what happens happens, and you have to learn from it and get better from it. Talk about the fact that, uh, Cornell, that you are replacing your starters at linebacker. Does that put a little more pressure on you as a DB? Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, we got some balls coming up. It's always the next man up, and uh, we got some young guys that, that's ready to play ball and step up. You know, I, I remember last year after one of the games, um, I'm not sure if it was UTSA or, or the LSU game, you brought all the team together. You looked at tape because you wanted to make sure they're all on the same page. And after that, was there improvement? You know, this football team, I think, constantly improved. And I think they improved really through some adverse times. But uh, I certainly uh, thought we played some of our best football at the end of the season. So that's something that I was really encouraged with. And, and uh, you know, I think this is a football team. Again, I always talk about a Southern Miss style of play. Mm -hmm. and, and this is a football team, just watching these guys go through the off season, watching them work, um, you know, they bleed the black and gold. They're working hard, and, I, and it's an outfit that I think is going to be ready to play in 17. You, your defense, outstanding from a standpoint also, opponents only completed 24% on third down. I mean, they were successful 24%. That was a big key for you. Yeah, I think we played well last year on third down. I, I really do. I think that was one of our strengths. Again, I thought there was a lot of positive, and I would go to the offense and the defense. A lot of times it's, there were so many times you could turn on the game field and just see so many positives. But we've got to eliminate those few negatives, and I think that's the trick in, in being great. So certainly we've, we've studied our mistakes, and hopefully we'll continue uh, to learn from that and get better. Do you think there was an adjustment period to you and the coaching staff? You know, I, the thing is, I, I, this was such an outstanding bunch of guys. I really didn't feel it. Maybe there was, maybe there wasn't. But uh, you know, our guys jumped in, and we started off hot. 
We right. really did. We started off hot. I thought we played really well early, and I thought we were kind of cruising along. We, you know, that that game in San Antonio, you know, we got down about 21 yeah. to nothing. Two minutes into the game, it felt like we were down 35 <laughs> to nothing, you know. And and then we battled back, you know. And, and um, you know, we were we were coming back. And then, of course, the big injury to Nick certainly was a was a tough blow for us. But uh, Again, I thought this football team, they didn't make excuses. We just came out and played hard and battled and, and uh, found a way at the, at the end to, to finish strong. First two games are at home against Kentucky and Southern. How important is it to take care of business? Kentucky game last year was incredible. Obviously, a little rivalry going on there after last year. Well, season. football always says a marathon, not a sprint. Every game is important, but uh, we'll count the chips up at the end. That's the reality of this game. So we'll, we'll, we'll go to work every week, and, and we'll count it up at the end of November and see where we're at. How about you guys? You looking forward to the, that first game against Kentucky? I'm looking, for all, I'm looking forward to all of them, man. I can't wait to get, get it going. Cordell, how about you? Well, definitely looking forward to all of them. Can't take nobody lightly. You, you, know, you know, before I let you go, knowing that this is your final year, is this something you thought about? Um, yeah, I, I mean, I've been thinking about it. Um, when I was younger, the guys that were seniors, they would always tell us that it's going to fly by. And now I'm finally here. Just been working hard as I can. So I won't, I won't have any regrets at the end of the season. And that's why we nicknamed the judge. He's, he holds court with us every time we come there. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you so much. Thanks, hey, good seeing you again. Thanks, I wish you the best thanks, luck. Thanks, guys, stay healthy, okay? Yes, sir. We'll continue our coverage of the 2017 Conference USA kickoff presented by Under Armour right after this.